what's going on guys so uh, you guys cut me in the middle and um i just want to let you guys know um in this video i'm just doing a quick little look something quick so i can get out and go um i actually used bobby brown foundation on my um for my foundation as you guys see and this is um chestnut i don't use this foundation much but it is it's a pretty nice foundation but I'm gonna pretty much wear it today and see what it's about so um I did my brows using um the Kat Von D uh dip brow all right and uh, this is I think it's like um this is a medium brown you guys see that all right and the concealer that I'm actually using is um Morphe all right so I'm using this Morphe concealer so, I don't know if you guys. All right. So, I'm just going to tap this in, girl. I just wanted to just do a little makeup, you know, because I kind of want to go. And I want to bring you guys these tutorials because I know you guys like makeup tutorials, especially you guys is always watching my videos. I just want to give you guys something, you know. Um, so, I'm just tapping the concealer in like this. So, I'm just going to make sure I tap it into my skin like so. And this is a good video just in case you guys don't know how to blend the concealer or contour. This will be pretty good for you. Um, and then I'm going to put a few uh, colors in. Not much. I'm probably going to give it like this natural look. I'm, really not, I'm not really doing much today. I am going to the Halloween store because I kind of want to get a like an idea of what I want to do. Who I want to be for Halloween. Let me know if you guys would like for me to bring that tutorial to you guys do you guys want to see what i'm gonna be for halloween because we're in september now so it's a good time to kind of talk about it i hope you guys are you know into that and if you're not i'm sorry but i am i love halloween halloween is so nice so i'm just tapping this in like so Lately, I've been letting it sit to kind of see what happens when I let it sit. Um, I've been liking it. It's okay. It's not bad. Um, and I'm, I've even went... That is a lot. So, I even went without um, setting it. You know, I'm starting to kind of not sit. Since it's in the winter time. Because I really be like really dry. And I love matte foundation. But I like for the foundation to kind of dry me out by itself. So I really don't want to use many like. um Too, 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 too. I don't need to make myself too matte. Because the, the products that I already use is drying. So why should you put a powder on top of something that is dry? I'm kind of getting into that. Like stop doing it. Because I, I know that I want to be like extra covered, but I can be extra covered without doing all of that. So I'm just going to take a little water, set and spray, okay, and just kind of spray this. Because it's really tight, hard to blend. So, yeah, I'm just going to let that like, then I'm going to go in and tap in it and make sure everything is in. It's a possibility that this concealer might not work well with the Bobbi Brown foundation, but I mean, it's worth a try. <laughs> you know, different kind of products, certain products may not work well together. So, just hope that Morphe works a little bit with Bobbi Brown, but Bobbi Brown is extremely dry too, so I don't know. Sometimes you can just have like a little too much going on. Like tart do dry really fast. Like this is probably a good idea for me to get the um, beauty blender and kind of go in and blend too.
just I just want to be sure that I got what I wanted in there so I'm gonna go into something that I know I know that I know that I like now I do like this concealer but it's just drying a little tad bit too quick and I want something a little bit more you know creamy and a little bit more hydrating than, than my own um, morphe I know it's crazy but yeah I need something that's gonna you know not be so much right now because I do want to give like a natural glam a little bit of a natural glam not too natural but a little bit like I want to look a little bit natural so I'm just gonna blend this into that color make sure it's really nice and blended in there And I really like working my brush. To, I really enjoy working the brush, like letting the brush do what it's gonna do. I'm really a fan in it. Like I love letting that brush do its job because you can only really wear a concealer by itself, really, and you're not gonna get as much, um, you know, done if you don't use a brush to blend your concealer. Um, at least I feel like that. I feel like you get more of a con uh, coverage when you use the brush uh, versus a beauty blender. And a be beauty blender is really nice, girls, because I really love to use the beauty blender. But the beauty blender is something I bring in last pretty much of after I've done everything else. I mean, that's just for me, you know. Um... Because I really want to make sure I get the most coverage out of my concealer as possible lately. So I've been trying to see what it's like using this brush. And the brushes are great. You just got to know like when it's time to stop with the brush. You just got to make sure you blend in good. You know, I just like to take the brush and kind of like clean up areas that need help. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna let that just chill out. Um, I am gonna put a little bit of powder underneath so that if I have any kind of fallouts from the eyeshadow that I'm going to do, it can just catch that and we're good. So um, I'm always misplacing my powder. Let me grab I think that has really started to save me a lot of time from um, kind of doing my makeup is when I add the powder I don't use a beauty blender anymore much I still do it I still like blend to make sure you know this is how I would use the beauty blender I'm really precise and I make sure that I hit the areas that I'm really trying to make sure it's really smooth let it be but after that I would take I would use a powder for my brush um to I'll use a powder to um just set a little bit underneath the eye just a little bit just a little bit underneath the eye it's a nice fluffy brush that can just kind of just nothing major you know this is probably not the right size brush you know this brush is really too big but hey it works so i'm just kind of just set a little bit Okay, so we're going to do this. So what I will do, maybe hit my nose with a little powder. Don't need to, but then I get here. I really like to get in here. Sometimes this is the only way. Okay, so it's okay for you to do this sometimes, but I mean, that's the only way I can really get in here most of the times with the sponge, but I don't really like to do it this way but sometimes if i don't have the right brush just have to get in there like i can I tell you after i'm finished when i'm done when i'm done with this here girl i'm gonna be happy you caught your, your screen on okay i look kind of weird right now okay so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and bronze up um i bring in a little bit of that contour and i'm gonna use this wacky brush i just use for what i tried to use for my powder, I'm going to use this matte 
MAC. Uh, oh, this is a Morphe. This is an M403. I'm going to dive into my Shirley Tisbury uh, um, powder bronzer. And I'm just going to pinch it up like so. I mean, I like this bronze. I'm gr it's growing on me because it's my go-to. Because, I mean, I don't wear, I don't have many bronzers that I like. But however, Charlotte Tilbury, her bronzer is nice. It's really nice. Like I said, I did think that she should get a darker one. But this one here, if you apply a little bit more pressure, she begins to be a little bit snatched. If you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I love that Charlotte Tilbury right here. Oh my God. Like this here. This bronzer is everything, okay? And I got the big one because I just, I like big everything. Like, Earth. Okay, so I'm just going to dive into this. With, I'm going to just put a little bit, not much. I'm just going to slice this. No, just a little bit. I don't need to. It shouldn't, I shouldn't have to do this part, but I just want to. You know what I'm saying? I just want to just create a little bit more fun here do it while it's still baking you know what i'm saying so even if she ain't baking you need to bake it when you want to create fun okay because you don't want nothing to like be like out of whack so while you're having fun baking you can be strokey you can be okay did that i did all that girl. like is that something girl easier to like bake and straighten everything up clean everything up make sure everything is everything i kind of like to blend and like pull as i go like this is what i do i kind of like pull as i go i don't know that's how i think okay so i'm pulling as i go because like i don't want you to know what's going on here like we don't need to know that you try to shape your own nose like you didn't actually go to the doctor so i just want to make this part seamless as possible sometimes you know it depends on your light situation girl you need to learn to low down on products i am a living witness of it okay i'm just saying okay, so i'm gonna take this like i'm gonna use my my sponge okay stop talking y'all like y'all here okay so i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna tap it, this product in like so just to make sure everything is together and I just need a little bit of powder there, so I'm just gonna soften everything up. So I don't need much powder for what look I'm going for. But hey, I, I really wanted to do a look using this um, Too Faced palette, the chocolate palette. It's been forever since I used this palette, been forever since I've seen anybody use this palette but i've been really thinking about this palette this palette here makes me want i just feel like this pink here like i feel this in my spirit today girl like so what i want to do like that pink and that gold i'm feeling like those people right now so i'm definitely gonna go into this brat palette okay so i'm going to get this shade here um fashion fashion pack okay i love this color here fashion pack um so i'm gonna dive into that color so fashion pack is like this purple but i i want it to be that darkness because that's what i i really want the darkness of this color right so i'm just gonna dive guys i'm i'm on my way to or to the sea like what they got you know do they have anything that i like so i can do more tutorials like this with you guys and if you guys like these tutorials just thumb this video up and I will bring them to you. Um, it really helps to let me know what you guys like to see from me. So I'm just tapping this into my crease. And I'm just building this color, okay? So I'm just gonna like build it just a tad bit, not much. Cause I still, I just want, I don't wanna be too dark. I wanna be, I wanna bring a lighter tone, a gentle tone. So I'm just gonna come in this area here. I'm just do the same thing kind of build that color up like so just kind of do something and do the same thing here work it this is the revolution palette brats if you guys are interested so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna put this brush here down dive into another brush okay 
and this is a matte m 17s so i'm gonna use this brush here and i'm gonna dive into i i see this i thought this was like a brown but actually this is a brown i want to see what kind of see okay so this color here is giving me some so i'm gonna definitely like dip um into midnight dance and all all together i think okay so we're gonna just do like both of those colors now i'm gonna dab a little bit off now make sure i got them just gonna do a little dab and i'm gonna go like in here kind of like around it and kind of like buff it out buff this purple looking color out just a tad bit not much try not to get it much but try to get as much as you can over to the other side this is what we're gonna do like i'm just gonna buff it I'm just mixing these colors and i'm buffing out this okay now if i happen to lose that purple i can go back and get it but i just want to buff it out because halloween is coming girl and i love halloween so i'm feeling like these colors here girl i'm gonna go to orta beauty look at some products i'm, I'm just into beautiful cute as looks that's different like is that weird so i'm gonna do the same freaking thing that i did on this side you can choose to tap this brush or not i should but i'm i'm just okay probably i should all right so i'm gonna go in and do the exact same freaking thing i'm gonna apply more pressure on this outer layer because it's a dark pressure that's coming here and then as it lighten up i'm gonna blend it I'm going to blend it seamlessly. I'm going to try to move that purple as much as I can. Not try to smear it, but actually look like it makes sense there, right? So I'm just going to make sure it makes sense. That makes sense. I am so weird. I hope I explained it right, all right? So going into this area, I'm going to buff this out, you know? So yeah, crazy. Yeah, see, we're going to want that thing to go like crazy like you it's great if you can like hold on to that brush a little bit it's gonna give you what you want so we're gonna do the same thing don't be scared dive into that product and go back in like, just go crazy just act like it's like if you just act like this product is like you already know what it wants us to do close your eyes and go in girl close your eyes <laughs> go in just blend it out it's just product just blend it out control and blend it so i'm gonna go back into that brush that i had i did the little mixture with right i'm gonna go back in i kind of see I, is it me or y'all do y'all see like a little bit of orange can kind of play a role in here like i think orange or you can pretty much play at this point jade is a light light pink i'm not sure what's gonna happen but i'm just gonna go in there with jade see what see what turns out i don't know they don't take much of jade, but jade is definitely making a scene. Okay, so Yasmin. I'm gonna go into Yasmin, kind of like a sheer color here. And I'm just gonna sheer it here. I'm just gonna put it like here. Yeah, like that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I, when I don't understand stuff, I just do that. Like, I like. Where are you going with this girl? Okay, so we are gonna find this. Okay, so either way, um, yeah. So, girl, we ain't gonna cut no trees. We're just gonna do something simple. So, let's put a little bit more dark in there. Like, let's try this black out. Let's put a little black in here to make sure that purple is like doing what I want it to do. Sometimes it's good if you if you feel something you want to do. Do it. Just just do it. Make up. Have a good time. Play with it. Have fun. It's, it's fun. Makeup's supposed to be very fun. Not stressful. Not like you have to make every move right. No. Do it the way you do it. Do it the best way you can. I just do it because it's fun. So, okay. So, next, we're going to go. I'm, I'm just going to like, oh, girl. I'm seeing something different. Lay, lazy. I don't know. I'm going into this pink shade here from the Too Faced face. Too Faced. Really? Too Faced palette. I'm going to put this here on my lid. Did I really say Too Faced? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Weird. 
I'm just gonna, I just want to see what this color is gonna do. Seriously, like, what's gonna happen with this color? All right, so um, that's that. It's winter. It's getting ready to be fall, you know. I don't know. Am I in the fall colors right now? I don't know. I think I am. I think this is my fall thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I think I just, I really like this look. I just want to add, like I'm seeing this, what is this? Famous, like Famous was, you see Famous kind of got a dent in there. Like if you look at Famous, you know that I meant business, okay? So I'm going to grab Famous and I'm going to like put Famous like right here. Is that a thing? Can I do it? Yeah. I can do whatever I want. I'm just going to like put that here. Kind of like, yeah. All right, got famous in there. Famous in there. Ah, oh, famous. Hi, little girl. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back. You're here. You're here. Okay, so got famous in there. I really like the way famous, famous love. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend. Double never. Okay, to the bright highlights here because that's the only thing that's close to me really like because i have majority of everything in my makeup kit and i never know like when i'm gonna have to like bust out and leave you know so it's like i try to keep my stuff together so when i'm doing my own makeup i know how to do makeup so i can use pretty much anything so it's like that i don't have to have specific products to like make sure my makeup is cool the way it always bring my looks out I also go back in with a brush kind of go in and tap just make sure it's blended in there kind of want to make sure everything is together so I take this real technique brush and just I know it's like, girl, you going crazy. No, this is really how it goes. Sometimes this is what I do to myself. I got to do it. I got to hurry up. So, then, if you want to really be creative, you want to put something on the bottom there. Maybe you should get like an eyeliner or if you want to brighten that area up, it's fine. But I'm not doing that. I'm just going to dive into some mascara. I might put you a little hollow right here. How about that? Like, I'm gonna get, how about a little line over there? So guys, if you're still with me, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a big thumbs up or something. Let me know that you care. Let me know that you still here and you support. Thank let me know that you guys appreciate this video so I can keep bringing them to you. However, I'm about to put on my Meek lashes from Madame Dion Cosmetics. If you guys don't know, you guys can check the website of only thing you have to do is wait to the end of this video it should be something like pop up or um go to the description box and just click the link so i'm just gonna apply my lashes this is a boneless tear because a lot of people ask me how do you do individual lashes how do you do script lashes what is all i do with scripts you know make scripts you know i, I don't need to be putting no you know individuals in there because i mean i like to you know dramatic makeup and I don't want to mess it up you know what's the point and I can barely see girl I wear glasses I don't need to be putting no scripts in there no um individuals in there scripts are just fine for me okay so yeah as soon as I'm done applying that however I was using two tweezers you guys don't do this don't do this I've been doing this a long time and yeah 
that's just the way I just do different things for different times, whatever I need to do at that time, you know. So, yeah, but this look has came off looking really nice. I really enjoyed all those products that I used. Really nice. So, once you get those lashes in the right, you know, placement, you just, you take your tweeze or your fingers and you press it towards your lashes, okay? Just want to make sure everything is seamless and, you know, together. So, press. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I do my um, lashes, you know. It works. So, I'm just making sure I highlight my nose a little bit. So, now, guys, tell me what you guys think about this look. So I'm gonna just put my lashes. Go to Madam Cosmetics and make sure you check out any of my lashes, my products, skincare, um, facials, facial bars. Go check it out. It's really good, quick and easy. Um, also make sure you subscribe to the website, okay? Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. Um, I had to throw my glasses on because I'm going to need my glasses. And yeah. So, uh huh. If you guys like the lashes that I'm wearing, you can check that out on my website, Madame Cosmetics, which I don't recommend to wear with glasses, but not these. Not these kind of glasses. Some that I have that are not as extreme. But because I need to get in the car, I got to drive, girl. I got to see because these eyes aren't what they used to be. Okay. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys enjoy seeing content like this, I will be clear to keep bringing them to you guys. Thank you. I love you. My father loves you more. Be blessed until we meet again. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Give me a subscribe.